Hey traders, Ragi here. And in this update, let's talk about what we have going on in the broader averages and, and the continued mixed market we're dealing with. Now, when I say mixed, we're talking about the environments that we are first identifying and second trading, right? And the idea is to differentiate between markets that are clearly still bullish versus markets that are turning bearish or are bearish. And, and these two examples, the first one being the natural gas market, and the second one being the weakest corner of the Dow, uh, the XLI, this is, a, this is the kind of contrast we're dealing with at the moment. By contrast, I mean we're dealing with markets that are clearly in an uptrend still, we're dealing with other markets that are in a downtrend, and yet we have other corners of the market that are in chop but they're bullish, or chop but they're bearish. And if there's anything that's been challenging probably since about middle of September on, it's been the fact that not everything is moving up. Very few things are moving clearly down and a whole bunch of stuff is just chopping about. And, and so we end up having to apply different strategies to different markets. So one of the things that I like a lot currently in the futures corner, uh, whether you're looking at the USO ETF or the CL futures, and you know, a lot of traders that trade CL or analyze CL will think about the USO if we're gonna end up looking at overnight positions, looking at the daily time frame with a duration of a handful of days to a handful of weeks. Once we go overnight, a lot of traders will say, well, we could trade the micro, less initial margin requirement, or the USO also less initial margin requirement makes the trade uh, lower cost and related to the cost of the trade lower risk okay so crude oil looks excellent as does natural gas their energy as a commodity crude oil natural gas energy as a sector xop are all looking very good uh, natural gas is of course is, a, is in an uptrend uh, crude oil is in an uptrend, and the XO explorers, oil and gas explorers, are also in an uptrend. So if and when you can find uptrends, prioritize those, right? And yes, there are uptrends in this market. Now, again, going back to where the difficulty often is, is how do I recognize what those uptrends are? You know, well, we need the tools to do so, right? The grab candles, the JT multi. Uh, and, and then uh, I think another part of the market that's going to be presenting a lot of difficulty for a lot of traders is, is the fact that the indices are not necessarily where the clarity is. The indices are not where the best trends are. The indices are where there's a lot of chop, right? And, and if you recall on Friday's update, Friday's video, we talked specifically about a near-term short in the NASDAQ, so check that video out. Now, if you're interested in understanding, hey, wait a minute, Rog, yeah, how did you know, or how did we set up a potential short in the NAS, or how is it that we're playing the trend of natural gas to the upside? Uh, or, or, for example, a terrific move uh, in our um, short using XLI as a proxy for the Dow. Now, where are these coming from? Uh, you'll definitely want to sign up for the webinar coming up on the 13th, this Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central, 8 Eastern. And we're going to talk about you know, how I keep trading once the market started moving up, right? Once the market started moving, stopped moving up, uh, it, things have gotten difficult. And this is, this is how markets normally move. Uh, markets just don't go higher, that's for sure. So on the webinar, which you can register for at, at simplertrading.com forward slash rotation, we're going to get into things like how you can limit risk. We're gonna get into things like how you can trade more, as in size, as in scope, not as in frequency, uh, with less capital. How you can profit and chop. That's something that we've done in IWM uh, with uh, long calls on, on moves or fades. You're gonna learn how to fade the market uh, at the bottom of the range. Uh, how to enter, identify when a market enters a downtrend. That's something that a lot of traders are fearing they're going to miss. In other words, if the market goes into a downtrend, 
and I'm still looking at buys or I'm still looking at shop, how am I going to know this has happened? We'll get into that. And then part and parcel with all of that is, is how do you build the most effective kind of watch list? You know, we're, we're in an environment now where you really have three watch lists, potential longs, sideways markets, and, and downtrends, or as I like to keep them really easily identifiable is buy watch list, short watch list, and do not watch list. So you can be, be able to build a perfect watch list once you understand that, quite frankly, ETFs are sort of the, se the secret to the universe because right now they are explaining why the markets are doing what they're doing. At a, at a much more specific level in terms of flow, in terms of favoritism, even. You know, why does uh, the market continue to flow to financials and, and, and healthcare is heading lower or utilities are heading lower while we're seeing strength in certain commodities and certain corners of the market like oil and gas explorers, right? So, this is where I get super excited where. Uh, you're going to know things about what ETFs tell us about the market that most traders simply don't know. I think ETFs may not seem sexy. Uh, they might seem like, yeah, I don't really need, need to know about how ETFs help us understand the function of the market. But I think once you understand why it's so important, you're going to realize why these have become increasingly influential over the market and it's become increasingly important to personally my trading. In fact, we have an entire mastery dedicated. So if you're in the mastery or the futures room and you're thinking, Rog, yeah, how do you trade options based on these ETF understandings? Come join me on Wednesday and I'll see you all in the next update. Hey traders, Roggy from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.